Welcome to day 7 of my 30-day Pilates and Yoga Wellness Journey. Flourish! My name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This video will be a gentle Pilates, 10-15 to minute workout routine. And today, we'll be focusing on our upper back, mid back, and low back area. Slow and effective for those absolute beginners and inflexible. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start on the hands and knees position. Engaging your core muscles, hands level to your shoulders. Knees level with your hips as you inhale. Breathe in, looking down to your belly button. As you exhale, slowly look up. We'll do this eight times. Warming up your spine as you angle the head, looking down. And as you exhale, look up, arching your low back area. Slowly exhale. Inhale in. Squeezing your stomach in. Build a curl as you exhale out, arching your back to stretch your low back muscles. And your neck. Inhale in. Feel so good to warm up our body safely and effectively before we proceed. Exhale up, three more, inhale in, exhale up, two more, last one my friends, inhale and exhale. We're slowly extending one arm forward, this helps activate your shoulders, try your best to keep your pelvis level. And your body weight not shifted to the right. So if you're lifting your left, keeping everything central. Inhale and then exhale down. My program is for absolute beginners. So everything will be steady and easy. Great for those with weak core, shoulders, hips, and tightness. So we'll be alternating left and right. Fingers flared open. As you inhale, breathe in and reach. Exhale, place it back to the mat. Left and right. Try your best to keep everything centered. So you want to make sure you're squeezing your core in, keeping your back in neutral spine. Two more to go. Inhale. So we're focusing today on your back muscles to help improve your posture and your core strength at the same time. Last one on your right, exhale. Now we're going to reach to the side. So I'm reaching to the side on my left as I inhale, exhale, reach forward. So I'm going to reach forward and then reach to the side level to my shoulder. Reach and side. Started on my left. As I exhale, facing back to the side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, side. Two more. Last one. Inhale, breathe in. Reach. Exhale, side. Slowly face it back down to so switch it up. With my right hand, reach. Exhale to the side. Try your best. To keep your center of gravity in the middle. So inhale. Exhale. Squeezing your core in. Engaging your shoulder muscles. And your arm muscles. Two more to go. Last one my friends. Slow and easy. As you inhale reach. Exhale to the side. Great job. Now we're going to slowly do some shoulder push-ups. So you want to make sure your hands are really level to your shoulders. As you slowly lower your chest, keeping your elbows straight. Looking down towards the mat as you inhale. And then exhale, push yourself up slow and easy. Small range of motion. Doesn't have to be a huge movement. Just gentle, squeezing your upper back, your scapular muscles. Exhale, push up. Inhale down, 
Exhale up. Breathe in through your nose as you lower your chest down, elbows straight. Exhale up. Two more of these. Last one, my friends. Great job. Now we're going to extend one leg. This activates your glutes muscles, keeping everything centered. Try your best not to shift your body weight on your right side. As I lift my left leg, keeping everything centered, engaging your core by pulling your belly button in. As I inhale, lift, exhale, going back to the mat, knee bent. Now shifting my other leg up, inhale, lift, switch it up, and then exhale back down. Try your best to keep everything centered. Inhale, lift, exhale down, breathe in, up. Exhale down. Try your best to breathe out through your mouth. So you can inhale more oxygen in. Inhale up. Exhale down. Squeezing your glutes. Extending. Try your best not to lift your foot higher than your hips. Keep it level. This is day seven, so you want to make sure we're doing this slow and easy as we progress. Two more sets to go. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Slow and easy. Try to slowly place it down. Mind, body awareness and control. It's not about speed or momentum. It's about movement patterns that's slow and easy. Last one. Inhale up, exhale down. Great job, my friends. Now we're going to extend again. I'm lifting my left leg with my knee straight, toes pointing away. As I exhale slightly, diagonal to the side, out of the mat, and then inhale back center and out. Slow and easy as you Gently go diagonal without twisting your spine. As you breathe in, to the, out to the mat, your toes pointing away. Exhale back center. We have two more to go. Last one, my friends. And slowly place it back down. Now switch it up to the other leg. Inhale, lift. Exhale, diagonal out of the mat. Inhale, back center. Exhale out. Keeping your mind and body awareness towards the movement without twisting your spine. Your eyes are towards the mat, keeping it centered. Two more to go. Slow movement is not about momentum. Or speed is about slowly pulling it out as you breathe in. Exhale back center, trying your best to stabilize with the other hip. Weight shifting. And then slowly place it back down. Now let's stretch our low back muscles a little bit by extending your hands forward, sitting on your glutes for a gentle child pose stretch. And we hold this for three deep breaths to rest. Last one. Great job. Slowly lower your chest down towards the mat, knees extended. And we're going to reach your arms forward, both arms, and slowly lift your right arm and exhale down. So lift it off the mat, small range, and gently alternating left and right. Still squeezing your core in. You might feel like your chest is difficult to breathe because of the heaviness of your body weight towards your diaphragm and your abdomen. And that's fine. So that's why we're taking it easy. As we inhale, reach, lift without twisting your spine, alternating left and right. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Right hand, lift. Exhale down. If your neck is hurting, 
It's too hard for you to keep your head up. You can slide down to the mat or I'm touching it to rest. Last set. Last one on your left. And down. And for those who are getting tired now, cross your arms in front of you. Lay your forehead down to your forearm to rest. Because we're going to progress now as we lift the leg and you feel the tightness in your hips and weakness. Lift with your knees straight as you inhale. Exhale down. Switch it up to the other side. Slow and easy. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Squeezing your core in and your glutes muscles. Tighten them up as you lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Tighten, engaging your abdominal muscles all the way across your back for a natural deep activation of your deep core muscles, your DVA, the natural corset of your body to protect your spine. As you lift your right leg up, squeezing your core in, exhale down, left side, inhale, exhale down. Two more to go, right side lift, exhale down, Small range and that's okay. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. And last one on the other leg. Exhale. Now we're going to slowly bend your knee. So I'm bending my left knee. My toes pointing to the ceiling. Engaging your foot muscles. Slowly turn your head where you're bending your knee. So if my left knee, I'm turning my eye gaze towards the left. Engaging my neck muscles, my neck rotators. As I inhale, exhale slowly, place it down, extend your leg, foot down, eye gaze back to the center. And then you're going to switch it up to the other side. I'm turning my head to the right as I bend my right knee, inhale, exhale down. Squeezing your core in, inhale, exhale. Inhale to the right, exhale down, inhale, exhale, turn to the right, bend your right knee, breathe in, exhale to back center, feel so good across your back, and if you're getting cramps on your hamstrings, rest if it's needed because of tightness and weakness this program is perfect for the beginners and inflexible last set to the right inhale exhale that's one on your left and rest we're going to progress now with both knees bending Toes pointing to the ceiling, squeezing your abdominal muscles and your glutes as you inhale. Exhale down. Belly button in as you breathe in and breathe out through your mouth. Inhale in. Squeeze your glutes and your low back muscles. You, feel, you might feel some a little bit tightness across your back. As you gently activate those deep muscles. Five more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Belly button in. We're almost done. Slowly go down. Last one. Bend your both knees. Inhale. Exhale down. Now slowly get up to your hands and knees position with your knees separated into a gentle frog pose. Heels feet together. Slowly lower your chest down and slowly lower your hips down. Deep breath through your nose and exhale. We are cooling down now to two more deep breaths in frog pose.
And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed day 7. The targets are upper back, mid back, and low back areas. Perfect for absolute beginners. And if you are inflexible, if you want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, health, wellness, and physical therapy, and to finish strong and well in this wellness journey, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Sign up on my website at anypilatesphysicaltherapist.com slash flourish and you'll receive daily email reminders from me, motivating you to finish strong and well. If you have any questions, suggestions, and concerns, leave a message down below or directly on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy are you. See you tomorrow for Day 8. Bye!